The Big One, Mission 14, following significant internal politics, today's op is a long distance deep struck. Four Ravens in Anvil Flight, four Buccaneers in Sledge, two Moonshadows in Tron 5-2, and a single S3 as Tron 5-1. Sledge and Anvil will be striking a missile assembly facility, whilst the rest support us. We are in Anvil 1-3, all flights will rally and push all the way out to Iran without communications, staying low, as surprising the Iranians is critical to the mission's success. We're expecting SAMs in the target area, so Tron will cover us for electronic warfare and harms. Egress southwest and refuel at the Magenta tanker track before heading home. Welcome to mission 14, the last mission of the campaign. It's a very busy deck, everyone's getting up set up for the strike. We're good, the right engine is set. Crank, left engine. Let's get the displays on. So we're doing this mission zip lip, so we won't be doing any radio communication for the most part. So it's all going to be down to signals. We're also going to keep our radar in the standby position. We're not going to use that until later on, just to help avoid being detected. Let's get some lights on in here. The flood, and I want where is it? NVG switch, please. Just double check I did install the NVGs. Yes, I did. Okay, reset. I think we're just about ready. Just waiting for the alignment and getting done. All right, so we're going to set up our weapons. So it's stores page 84LG, the GBU 10. We want to set up our code as let's see 166. Five. Let's step to the second station. One six six five. Setting up e-fuse. E-fuse. You see Chief Grant waving to get your attention, pointing to the bow. He raises four fingers, then a fist, and then four again, followed by thumbs down. So that's four o oh, four. This means Saints Jet is down, and you will have to be the strike lead. Press spacebar to reply to Chief Grant. And we return the thumbs up with a vigorous acknowledgement. Okay. So we are now going to be lead. That changes our target. I'll have to check that later. Uh, multiply 2. So we'll drop both bombs at once. Wings are unlinked. Yes, thank you. I don't need to see that. Uh, can we clear that? There we go. Alright, so mode auto quantity 1. Multiply is still set to 1. I want that to be 2. Why is that not setting? Quantity 2, multiplier 2, there we go, that's set. So, got instant fuse, free fall, mode auto, quantity 2, multiplier 2, 1665, 1665, we are all set on the weapons front. Quite a few aircraft out here. So, as the deck is very busy with everyone else taking off, we'll squeeze in a gap just after them, probably. Head on to waypoint 1. I never get used to that. Seeing jets take off at night is always really cool. When you've got a busy carrier deck. Alright, running it up. And ready on the salute. Lights on. Here we go, out into the black. Positive right, gear up, laps up. A little light in the dark there. That's home. Right, we've got a long mission ahead of us now. So I need to set up HSI waypoint one and head out to the rendezvous point. We've got about 10 minutes until we push, so I can ease back on the power and we'll just cruise over there. We need to climb up to, what was it now, 3,600 feet and hold at that whilst we orbit. Right, we are orbiting now at waypoint 1, we are just under 5 minutes to push. There's a couple of aircraft out near us, 
I see a few glimmers of lights. One of them joining us from the fleet. I suppose there's more than a couple of them up here somewhere as well. Just keeping your eyes open, waiting for the bush time. A little bit low on the altitude there, actually. Let's bring it back up. The altitude hole's not doing a good job. Okay, back to 3.6. Okay, so we are now a few minutes away, so I'll rejoin you at bush. Okay, here we go. Ten seconds to push. And this is quite eerie with nobody out there saying anything. Just going to trust everyone's doing their job. Alright, that's push. So, on to waypoint two. Let's turn it round. And we should get the MVGs back on. That's still a bit... A bit too much sunset there, or sunrise even. So we need to accelerate up to 360 ground speed. And get together. Alright, so... Since I can't use my radar, I'm trying to use my velocity vector slave mode and TGP to identify these guys up ahead. I think the one on the right, this guy here, under the velocity vector, is Tron 51, who we'll be flying with. I think that's an S3. But it's a little hard to gauge. Uh, yeah, that looks like an S3 on the TGP. You can see him right there. And these two guys over here should be Hornets. Hornet 1. Hornet 2. So that's what they've got to group up with. And any moment now we're going to be diving down as we cross these mountains, getting as low as we can to cross the Persian Gulf. This time we slowed down and joined up with Tron 5-1. Altitude. Altitude. Okay, we're just coming up now on waypoint 2. So reassign that actually, 9 miles out. Not a whole lot on the radar, just the E3. Hopefully, we won't see anything on this until after we start the attack. So we need to keep ourselves hidden from their radar. There's Tron. Don't know who these guys are. Unfortunately, the brute didn't talk about who they are. Those are moon shadows. Those guys have arms on board. Alright, well, I guess we'll just settle down now and cruise. We're going to be doing it at low levels, so this is going to be interesting. We'll head out across the UAE and into the Persian Gulf. Here we go, working our way down now to a lower altitude. That S3 would do us a continuous dive and not shimmy up and down a bit. Here we go, though. He settled down. Everyone's with us. And if I just turn the MVGs off quickly. That's quite a sight. Alright, let's pay attention. So we are past waypoint 3. We're heading on to waypoint 4 now. And since we are past that waypoint, we can now turn on our radars. So I'm going to find my fuel dump switch. And there it is. We'll turn on the fuel dump for a second, and that's our signal to turn radars on. So you can see the fuel streaming at my aircraft. Let's switch that off. And now everyone should turn on their radars. There we go, there's one. Set ourselves in formation again, and I'm going to set mine to operational, and we're going to switch over to enter ground mode, and we're going to start scanning out in front of us to make sure we don't bump into any traffic to avoid revealing our position. Right, we are coming up now on waypoint 4. This is the decision point. So we're going to get in a moment the go or no go code word. Comes the turn. The 
check in with, I think it was four. Where on earth is he going? He's climbing. Picture clean. Okay, there is the go signal. We are good to go on the mission. We have not been detected thus far. Okay, we are now just passing waypoint 5 as the air goes into a sudden turn. Tapes on. Tapes on. So we are in country. Sun's finally come up, looking pretty beautiful. Tron 5 1 beside us as I start to overshoot him. We are approaching waypoint 6 now. And at waypoint 6 we're going to climb to 16,000 and then we're going to go find our target shortly after that. So we're really getting tense now, it's only moments away, we are 2 minutes from the climb. About 7 miles now from waypoint 6, we're crossing over a couple of villages. It's a little nervous, but <laughs> they're going to be in for a rude awakening this morning with us flying overhead. Nothing so far to worry about. There is a search radar we picked up. But everything looks good so far and it's a very beautiful morning. So we're coming up now on waypoint 6. I'm just going to cross over to the left side of the EW. As we set up for our climb, I want to make sure everyone's got enough space so we don't have anyone climbing through each other. In particular, I want to avoid the moon shadowers. So here we go. Here's the climb. Tron 5 1 will fall behind, stay where he is just doing the electronic warfare for us. And we'll climb up and begin our attack in a moment. So, set up waypoint. So, we need to hit 16,000 by the time we hit waypoint 7. So, we'll climb up. That's quite beautiful. Just trying to, main just trying to maintain parallel position with sledge flight. So, we'll arrive together at the same time. We're just riding in parallel with the rest of the flights. I'm sure Iran knows something's up by now. Climbing up through to 16,000, just passing 11. I've got everything set up. I think I've got my laser armed, master armed, air to ground. I need to pick out my stores. There's laser guided bombs. Double check the mode is auto. And go back to. HSI, so we're good. The moment we hit waypoint 7, we're going to slave our FLIR onto target. And then we're going to begin our run. Getting close. 55 miles to go. Tron 5-1, dirt north, gainful. Yeah, SI-6. Which I assume I'll find the code sheet. Oh, it's not on there, never mind. Oh, hello. SA6 is locking us up. So are these boys earn their money? Okay, we're launched on SA6. Yeah, we ought to make any move about this. Anvil 1 2, tally on the light post. Alter 1 o'clock long. No factor. Resume. Okay, it stopped. Alright, I guess the electronic warfare's kicked in. It's done its job. It's stopped tracking. I was hoping to catch the missile launch, but I didn't manage to swat it. Right, but they've gone quiet. Bingo. Bingo. Right, we just hit Joker fuel, that means we burned it just a little bit too much fuel. Uh, 
60 miles. Anvils, Roger, declare. Got flak. Hostile aircraft, Anvil okay. One, one. Sledges, send a section and take the bandit group. Everyone else continue as frag. Sledge 2 1 Wilco, break uh, Sledge 2 3 flight. Uh, target bandit group rock 340 at 60 medium hot. And I forgot to set up my air to air bullseye. There we go. And we'll leave it on eight now. 60 miles from the northwest of target. Nothing visible. There go the sledges. We're going to carry on to target. Alright, we're just about on waypoint seven, so I'm going to designate. There's a the target zone. Engaging primary. Can you take the group to the west? Roger. Sledge two one flight is in from the south. So we're getting some debug messages. So my target is this guy. Eighteen miles out now. The gauntlet, but I don't have him. Double check the switches, we are good on the laser. Uh, stores, here we go. What is that? SA2, then we know those will be on target. Should be alright with those about. Okay. 165 1665 for both. 1665 set. If you use instant quantity 2, multi 2, auto, we are good. Sixty seconds to release. On altitude. ECM is transmitting. There's the other flights. Getting nervous about that too. We got a fifteen as well. Fifteen is not pleasant. The twos I can dance around, the fifteen not so much. 30 seconds, that 15's getting close. I'm gonna bring it left a bit, I think. Try and get that set. 15 is launched. 99. Anvil 1 1 is spiked with a tally. Bring it out of the way. Alright, it's stopped. So I'm gonna come back in. Come on. Five miles to target. I'm actually going to take the nose down and make sure we get this right. That puts me into SAM range man pads, but I'll climb since we're ready. Okay, that's not good news. Released. Climb back up. It's flak. It's true not aim. So much going on. Okay. This is firing. Three, two, one. Shack. Okay. Let's get ourselves out of here. HSI. Three point nine. Twenty miles. F5s. We want air to air. Sledges are off safe. Good 
Yeah, okay. Still flak everywhere. Got F5s out behind us somewhere. Uh, we have some data link, we have something there. They are, it looks like they're engaging the other aircraft, not us. So I think we're good to just run. But I say two in front of us. F5, S, A2, and is that F5? Can't tell. Offset. So we have got F5s. A little confused there, because there's also flapped uh, faces, or fan song, sorry. That sledge getting out of there. There's a target. Looks like we got some good hits. Lots of smoke. And on that, don't see anything. Andrew one one copies. Andrew's egressing southwest. Okay, waypoint. Tron five two six clear. Egressing. Andrew one one copies. Break. Tron five one. You got a visual on us? Angle 1 1, Tron 5 1, negative. Let's say 2 again. A bit more brightness on my HUD. Mission success. The mission will end soon and be continued in the next episode.